These are some of the faces of the women serving prison sentences in Ethiopia. And here are their children. At Grace Center, we were shocked to find out that when a mother goes to prison, her children go to prison with her. There are two main reasons why children go to prison with their mothers. One reason is that there aren't any foster families to care for the children. And the other reason is to protect the children, because revenge killing is a huge problem here. It is likely that if a mother has killed someone, the child may be killed as revenge. Here is Fasu, just one of the mothers here in prison. Fasu tells the sad story while her daughter Sifelik sits with her. Fasu was married to a very abusive alcoholic. One day, knowing that her life was never getting any better, she began hitting her husband back, and then her older children began fighting him as well. They beat him to death, and now Fasu is serving a 17-year prison sentence. Her daughter Sifelik is seven years old and has spent her whole life in prison, and will most likely be in prison for her entire childhood. As boys grow into teenagers, they go from staying with their mothers in the women's prison to living alone in the men's prison, serving time for a crime that they never committed, like this 13-year-old boy named Tekele. Before Grace Center came along, the children never even went outside. Can you imagine living your whole life never even going outside to play? Now, not only do they get to go out and play with Grace Center volunteers and staff, but the school-age children also get to go to school. This boy, Nagatu, was thrilled the first time he came out of the prison to play. He found a small patch of grass next to the prison wall and excitedly talked about how he was just happy to run in the grass. Now Nagatu is being sponsored by a 12-year-old boy in the United States who earns money through chores to pay for his sponsorship. When this six-year-old boy, named Tuacho, was asked what he wanted to be when he grew up, he said, I don't understand the question. I'm in prison, and this is where I will stay. He is likely to remain in prison for the next ten years. Our prayer is that with the love of Christ and education, he will see that God has called him to so much more than a life in prison. I will say that the prison itself is operating in the best way they know how. Every time I have been to the prison, the women are at peace with each other, and many times they are laughing and playing and the children play with each other. Games like Ring Around the Rosy and hand clapping games. Many people who don't know the children or their situations would just think they're siblings. But there still needs to be more, a better chance at life. All of the mothers are so moved to see their children in school. They never imagined their children would be able to go to school. Through sponsorship, these children are going to one of the best schools in Bahadar. Our prayer is that they will be able to break the vicious cycle of physical and spiritual poverty through education and ministry. And here you can see the reaction of Fasu and her daughter Sifelig when we ask them what they think of school. <laughs> We recently had a group come from the town of Duncan, Oklahoma in the United States. They came and did crafts with the kids, and they also helped to rebuild their playground. As you can see, here was the playground before they came. After these volunteers cut the wood, it was put on the back of a horse and cart and carried several miles to the prison. They had everything well planned and managed to put everything together in just three days. There just happened to be an old rundown vehicle in the way of the playground. It took many men to move this vehicle and many of the prisoners got to come outside to help push this vehicle out of the way. The old rusty merry-go-round was restored and everything was painted and put together perfectly. I got the easy job of getting the children excited about their new playground before they got to see it. And here the children are waiting in line to leave the prison with one of the prison guards. And the fun begins. I will make it
Some of these younger children that are not in school had never even been on a swing before. We were able to get permission for the mothers to come out and see their children playing. One of the young mothers decided to go on the swing as well. We are so very blessed to have this team to help these children in such a special way. Here are some of their thoughts. It was very heartwarming, it's humbling, and I'm very honored to be in school. The biggest blessing to me is to see the moms as a mom, to see the moms, yeah, see their children to be able to be, just like any other kid, be able to play. The girls swinging and getting to, they were giggling, just that, that giggle that you just can't. They're children. And just to hear them laugh and smile, just it gets me. And not, I'm going to tell you I can't talk, it's <laughs> experience to see kids uh, be so excited about something that we take for granted and to be able to uh, to build it for them is just a great opportunity, a blessing not only to us but to them uh, to give back to such a um, such a group of kids that need uh, attention and uh, need love that only comes from God. It's a good day. It's always good to see little kids uh, being little kids. Sometimes in this place and other places like it, they're not able to be kids. They have to grow up fast. So us to be able to come and do a playground was a great opportunity for us and help Grace show the love of Christ and know they're going to use that to, uh, to perpetuate God's love and let people know that Jesus loves them. That's a great and mighty thing. Just uh, very humbling and very honoring that God would allow us to have um, such a small part in impacting these kids' lives. It was an emotional day for everyone involved, and such a blessing to be a part of. And there are so many ways that you can be a part of this as well. There are 250 children growing in prisons in the area. Beyond that, all of the children we serve are also growing in their own prison of sorts. Prisons of abuse, neglect, starvation. We need your help to continue to help all of these children so that they can have a chance at life. Please spread the word about the ministries at Grace Center. Thank you so much for all you have given, and God bless you.